Hello everyone! Welcome back to this game! When we last left off, we were on the 10th floor of this castle, not castle, tower. As a reminder, we are making our way upward to reach the surface of the ocean, I'm pretty sure. Oh yeah, I just remember what this quest was all about. We're delivering some sort of package, aren't we? Where is it? A mysterious parcel. We need to deliver it to Tokodori Village for some reason. Hopefully it does not result in bombs bursting out and burning everything. Anyway, let's go ahead and see about making some progress now. So we got the snowy level above the lava level. What's with all the guys in black cloaks? They appear to be Mar Mardus Marduxian assassins, a cult of warriors who despise the tower itself. And why the hell are they even here in the first place? I guess Septimus must be must of hired them. That is not how you spell must of. Must of is a contraction of must have, therefore must apostrophe ve. I just wanted to point it out because it is a pet peeve of mine when people say of instead of of. I can read their auras. It seems that are extremely nearsighted, so as long as we don't get too close, we should be fine. Oh, it seems they are. Okay. Nearsighted assassins? Now I've heard everything. Well, I guess we embrace our inner ninja to get through this floor. I love being a ninja. I'm totally done with that. Hopefully, the pathfinding doesn't do anything stupid. Though I am kind of curious. What happens if we do fight them? An intruder! Get out of here before I kill you for trespassing on our turf. Oh, I, th I thought we would have to fight them. Instead, it seems we just have to start over. Now, I could just reload my save, but it's actually not that difficult or time-consuming to get back to where I was. So, I'm just gonna get back to where I was. Here we are. I see treasure. I want it. So apparently these guys seem to be so nearsighted you have to be right up against them before they notice you. More treasure. Money! And... Assault Boots Plus. Well, I could equip this, but it would be replacing my Festival Clip, which can confuse enemies I attack. But out of curiosity, how good are they? Boots said to be worn by a furious, but also righteous god. Funny thought that. Nice boost to attack, but I like confusion. Like, seriously, 100% guarantee? Really? Oh, it's you. You're Septimus's girlfriend. And you're still wandering around in your underwear. 
Oh boy, except for this crazy girlfriend, Doru, again. Dang it, what the hell are you doing here? We're going to take you down once and for all! I say, even though we never met, I just feel that feeling like we need to do it. I'd like to see you try. Ready for the what to do? Ready. Aye, sir. So can we confuse mm. you? <laughs> yep. If I could just have a speed advantage against Odin, and also an attack strong enough to actually cause more than zero points of damage, I would totally have that fight. Are you proud of me, sir? I will go ahead and just wait, though, before attempting that. Oh, did I do that? I got a data disk from that fight, and I almost didn't notice. I will protect everyone. Hopefully there is not a data disk I've acquired and not noticed. Oh man, all of these skills learned, and I barely use any of them. Now to go even further. It'd at least be better if I didn't learn so many at once. We owe and only get better. I'm kind of being flooded with them. Gah. Dang. You all. Oh sure, everybody else can walk through those. I think that will be the last we see of her. Uh, I wouldn't say so. Okay, let's check out this data disk. LMN... N? Where's N? I missed N. Maybe it's in the treasure chest I'm sitting by. P. I missed what? Uh, what? Where did I miss it? I knew it. I, I, I knew it had been a while since we last saw M. Apparently, there's a reason for that. Did I miss one, or are we suddenly finding them out of order? I don't think we have. Otherwise, um. Okay, saving now. Just in case this is a waste of time backtracking. Apparently all the ninjas are gone now, so I'm free to kind of explore around. Maybe there's a treasure chest that I wound up missing. It is absolutely required to find them all just to beat the game. So, very important that I actually figure out where I might have missed one. I don't think Odin will have it. That would be kind of dumb. Was somebody selling one and I just didn't notice? Was there a treasure chest I failed to notice? Hold on a sec, while I'm thinking about it, I'm buying one of these. Unfortunately, the game creator was not able to come to this stream today. 
So can't really ask them for help. Okay, as I said, we find these in order, so I just need to make my way back to where we found disc M. Has to be between here and there. So Okay, good news is I don't actually have to go through that puzzle again. There's that treasure chest. Presumably I don't have to go through any special directions through this room. Success. Oh well these random encounters give so little experience compared to the bosses. Not that that's necessarily a bad thing. I like when bosses give a ton of experience. Okay, we found disc um somewhere. Around here. Wanna say it was in that treasure chest? I mean, surely it's not being held by Odin, right? Odin seems like optional boss status, and I am totally not prepared for optional boss. Maybe it's in here. But I don't know what password I would be wanting to put in. I never found something that gave me the password. Maybe that's the issue. Maybe somewhere the password is written down. That's probably it. Question is, where would it be written down? Uh, how far back would I have to go in order to find it? Now I'm really wishing that the game creator was here. Startback says maybe it was in the library. That's possible. If it's not there, I don't know where else to look. But we can at least go back to that. What was up here? Anything of interest? At the very least, the locations in this game are relatively short, so it actually won't take that long to get back to the library. In fact, here we are. Now that was that hint. That was that hint. We've already taken care of both of those. Okay, you know what? I don't know where to look. But odds are I'm not going to actually beat the game today. So, I'll just press forward and eventually I'll be able to find out from the game creator where I might have missed it. Let me reload the game to get back to where I was.
Yeah, it's kind of good that this game is so quick to get to places. Alright, what's in here? Wait, what floor is this? B9, B8? Is this B8? Then this is where I need to be loading up my other picture that I took of that other book. Okay, northwest, southeast, southeast. Northeast, northwest, northwest. Southeast, northeast, southwest, northeast, southeast, and then northwest, northwest. Data disk Q. Nah, I'm not gonna read these out of order. Sir, a moment of your time? Are you about to give me an upgrade to my weapon now? Yeah, what's the problem? If it's alright with you, I'd like to go ahead and scout out the areas ahead alone. Don't worry, I found another upgrade module for the Blast Blade. Blast B Blade Alpha. See you later on, sir. Take care, Yosudu. Do you really think Yosudu can handle himself? Yosudu and I have been through thick and thin together. Of course I believe he can. If you say so. Yosudu's aura seems off. I hope that doesn't come back to bite us. Oh, I'm sure it will. So... Any reason to wait for him to finish scouting? Or is this gonna follow him? I guess we're just gonna follow him wherever he's gone. No, no, don't go in the grass. Grass has battles. Oh, hey, another Dragon King character. What's your story? Man, I would go to B2 and meet my pal Zeru, but all this talk of bad guys running about is keeping me from going up there. I'd need a tough guy to help me. Like a bodyguard. Is something troubling you, kid? Jeez, don't scare a kid like that. I was only asking if he needed any help. Well, in his defense, we did kind of barge into his house. Hello, Detroit the Blue Lion. Wait, you all are a bunch of tough guys, right? Well, I am a utopian operative. The safety and well-being of the citizens of the tower is one of my primary jobs, after all. However, today, I am just focusing on bringing this package somewhere. Can I see some proof, dude? Sure, let's fight each other. That's normally how this works, right? Or we could do this. Amadeus pulled out his utopian communicator to show Rentero. A real utopian operative. Do you think you can help me get to B2? A friend of mine I want to meet up with lives there, but I am too scared of thugs to go up there by myself. Don't worry. If you come with us, we'll keep you safe all the way there. What is your name, kid? I am Rantero. And you dudes' names? 
I am Hitoro, or Hiroto Ozan. I am Michelle Tora. Wait, a utopian operative in Ozan and a fellow dragonkin? My mind is officially blown. And I am Amadeus Light. Boy, with someone like you would have loved meeting my android pal Yosudu. Dang, must y'all continue to blow my mind? I haven't been this excited ever since Gramps got me my first collectible fidget spinner. <laughs> wow, well, really? Really? Gaz, Rantero is one of those kids. The kind who is into faz and dead and bad memes. Anyway, we are glad to have you with us, Rantero. Let's get going, my dudes. Wait, where are you on my team? There you are. So you got a cooling ban. And I would like you a little bit more if you had... You have a shovel as a weapon. Okay, you're cool. Ah, uh, just out of curiosity, what sort of spells are we talking about here? You got none. Plot twist, somebody who has no spells. Alright, fourth party member. That would explain why Yusudu suddenly decided to go off and scout ahead. We needed to make space on our team. Okay, let's see here. Let me make note of your name, because otherwise I'll forget. Rantaro. Welcome to the team, other dragonkin. Is there anything up here? Just as I thought. Data disk R. And sure enough, there are encounters in the wheat. Ready. It's your boy, Rantaro. Ah, uh, this kid. Hmm. Did you expect anything less? Okay, uh, now that we got him, are we able to go this way yet? No. What else we got here? A shop? Please tell me you have those festival bands. What? You got nothing better to do with your time? Make it quick. I want to get back to my nap. Festival van. Alas, you do not. Come again or whatever. Not that I care. I had a feeling. Ready. It's your boy, Lantero. Hmm. Yeah. What to do? That certainly is an elaborate weapon attack. It's your boy, Lantero. Hmm. It also doesn't entirely fill the space of the screen. Did you expect anything less? Okay, there's a person there and another person there. One person is blocking our path and is dressed as Darth Vader wearing goggles, and the other has their face away from us. One or both of these characters is going to be really important in some way, and by that I mean we're probably going to have to fight one or both of them. 
We'll go ahead and do that after our third and final episode break of today's stream.